Hello and welcome to KMTV, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Wednesday, June the 24th. A pensioner who was 86 at the time saw off two would-be armed robbers from his home with a single punch. The two teenagers, one of whom was armed with a knife, have now been jailed. Our reporter Sam Lennon spoke to Kenneth Brown. They were banging on that front door. Okay. On the glass. Mm-hmm. And I opened it. Mm-hmm. And then they started uh, one or two questions and that. Mm -hmm. And then he said, uh, we want all your, well, I better not say it. Money. Yeah, they, but they said the, the, the other word, the, uh, the word before began with an F. I just went and whacked him. And what part of the body did you hit him on? In the, in the chest. And did he fall over? No, no. He went backwards. Yeah. And then they went, they yeah. went sharp. The police turned around and I said I wouldn't do anything else because um, in case they had me for it. Mm. They said no, there was no way I was protecting myself. Operation Stack remained in place on the M20 this morning after a strike by French ferry workers yesterday led to travel chaos. Eurostar and Eurotunnel trains were also suspended when protesters got onto the tracks. Border security at Dover and Calais is being stepped up after hundreds of migrants tried to get onto lorries waiting to get to Britain. Ferry crossings have now resumed along with Eurotunnel and Eurostar trains, but Operation Stack will remain in place on the M20 until a backlog of freight clears. In other news, it's understood police are hunting an 18-year-old man after a teenage boy was stabbed in the stomach in Rochester. The 15-year-old, who's a pupil at the Thomas Aveling School, is recovering at home after it happened in the fairway on Friday. A young woman whose body was found in the River Medway in Tunbridge yesterday has been named locally as 20-year-old Shannon Killick. Her death is not being treated as suspicious. And it's been revealed a suspected cannabis factory found at the scene of a gas blast and fire at flats in Ashford was actually just a pipe used for inhaling the substance. Police say whilst a bong was discovered in one of the damaged properties on Oak Tree Road last week, no hydrophonics were found. The first cruise ship to call at Chatham Docks in more than five years has arrived this morning. Graham Stothard went to check it out. Forget Dubrovnik and forget Saint-Tropez. Why not make Chatham one of the stops on your next cruise's itinerary? That's exactly what the 340 passengers of the Minerva have decided to do, as today 10 busloads of them will be taken to attractions in the nearby area. And industry surveys suggest that each of those visitors is worth around £80 to the local economy. They don't come round here too often. The 133-metre cruiser is the first one to berth in Chatham Docks in five years, although one of the managers here hopes it will be the first of many. Uh, Pearl Ports have uh, invested over £6 million in refurbishing the North Lock, which is our main one, and uh, now we're diversifying and hoping to encourage far more cruise liners in. We do have another one coming in on 15th, 16th of August, and that is the Hippodian Princess, and she will be here for the whole weekend. This is Graham Stothard for KMTV in Chatham. And finally, the mysterious fridge hen, which appeared in Maidstone in the run-up to the summer solstice, is being sold on eBay. Kevin Wildman and his business partner Paul Stone created the structure initially as a bit of a joke. They're now selling it off for Macmillan Cancer Support and the Heart of Kent Hospice, as both men have lost family members to the disease. There's more local news on KMFM and you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook, but that's it from KMTV.